Greetings all, it's Damon Fuchsa. And I'm just gonna turn the volume down a little bit. This is Brogue. And I wasn't planning to do any more episodes than the two I already did today, the beginning uh, episode zero and episode one, I've uh, now called them on YouTube. But uh, I had some problems with YouTube in like, you know, the audio department because of copyright music. And that's just due to the fact that I was trying to run, you know, copyright music through my uh, speakers to try and keep my uh, headphones up. But anyhow, um, basically the fix I'm going to go for it to basically avoid all that. Um, I basically made my BB Flashback Express uh, recorder here record only in a microphone. So I'm not going to record the uh, what you hear basically, what I'm hearing basically, because you don't really need to he um, hear what I'm hearing because there's nothing to hear for Rogue. And we'll have you know at least one solid episode where you guys can basically see what's going on. And uh, just so you know what what I'm basically listening to, basically it's Warcraft Orcs and Humans the first. The first Orcs and Humans um, OST, all of it. It'll, it'll run for about an hour. I, I assume the, uh, the, it won't go longer than an hour just recording. So yes, we um, welcome again to Dungeon of Dooms. There's the Amulet of Yendor and, um, on level 26. And uh, yeah, basically that's the plan. We're going to get to level uh, 26, don't you know? All Explorer is actually pretty useful. Sort of. It's fairly useful. Two sleeping enemies here. Spash him. Spash him. And yes, uh, in this game, if you haven't already heard me say it, if I haven't already done so already, um, basically enemies, uh, you can stealth up on them. And if you stealth up on them, if they're warring, then... Uh, Oh shoot, I just plunged through a hole. Ouch, I f fell to death level 2. But yeah, basically you can like, you know, uh, do a whole lot of mechanics and stuff in this game. Fall through pits, stealth up on monsters. Right now I'm making heavy use of the auto explorers, it's actually a first for me. I uh, usually don't run around with um, the auto explorer a whole lot. We see ourselves an ally, so that's cool. There's a pit bloat. I got really lucky on that jackal and snuck up all the way on him. Oh, that's bad. That was a pit bloat, and um, they have this nasty ability to uh, dissolve the floor even when you kill them, so... Fud. Yeah, so the all explore is fairly useful, but... You know, it's not so useful in this game, just for a simple reason that because it's such an open um, roguelike, you uh, basically see a lot. And by I mean, like, you see basically everything on, on a level, more or less. Oh, that bastard stole my eight darts. There's some food to take. I splashed that monkey because it was unaware. Oh, if I missed him. There, I got my darts back. Oops, I defeated Kobold already. So yeah, I'll explore. It, 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 it can be useful in some roguelikes, but it's not useful in this roguelike because you basically see everything in the dungeon that you basically have, you know, line of sight on. And you almost have line of sight on, like, you know, sometimes the entire portions of the dungeon. Because it's like, you know, I'm basically seeing all the way down over here. And that's like, you know, like a good chunk of the dungeon.
Okay, you see no path to further explore. This is an upper staircase. Let's go up to that. Apparently, because I blew up the floor over there, there's no way to get over there now. That's kind of a oops. But whatever. There's my ally. Hopefully, I don't you know piss off my ally in a moment because I'm about to test um, quaff these potions. So boink. That's a potion of speed. That's a potion of fire immunity. Now it's a potion of strength. And what does this all do? That's teleportation. Teleportation, you know, you can also get scrolls that basically burn you, so I don't want to do that accidentally. There's a cobalt down there. I was hasted, so I was able to run all the way up to that guy with no, no trouble at all. And yeah, basically, I, this is like what I mean. Like, you can see all the way down over here because of, like, you know, how sight range works in this game. So, basically, all explores and work as well in this type of, like, you know, thing. Basically, yeah, he's all the way down over there, but... I can't get anywhere close to him. <clears throat> so I can't say I think much of the all explore. I mean, it's useful. It got me through the first three levels here pretty damn quick. And I got a scroll of enchantment here. Um, what to enchant? Uh, I don't know. Let's enchant a broadsword there. Make it a little bit easier to, ca to carry that broadsword. Let's remove curse. Nothing happens because I don't have anything cursed. And it must have been a scroll of discord. I still have no idea what discordant means. And you know what? This is actually something I forgot I can do, but because I basically have BB Flashback Express, I can go into the wiki. So here's the first time to do this. Brogue wiki. Yes, there's a wiki, of course, for Brogue. And you can look in here and see what's going on. And what does this do? Etc. 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 Unfortunately, I don't see. Oh yeah, here, here we go. Search this wiki. Uh, I want Discord. All right. So the status effect will that only affects monsters. A Discord monster will attack and be attacked by its allies. Note that Discord enemy may still attack you instead of its allies if you are in range. It is advisable to move out of range after being Discord. After casting Discord. Be aware any monsters that cast Discord when you have allies. A Discord, a Discord ally may kill you or be killed by your allies. So basically it makes your guys go to berserk. You may be able to prevent a Discord ally from causing too much havoc with cover use of the wand of teleportation or um, push of descent. You may also catch the Discord ally with a uh, staff of destruction and move away until Discord fades. If you're durable enough, you can attempt to move your, your allies into a hallway and get in between them and Discord ally and your allies. The Discord ally will attack you and your allies will do nothing. Live until this Discord expires. Basically, uh, that's what Discord is all about. I think we're in one of the human themes going on right now. It's one of my favorite hu human themes from the uh, Warcraft uh, series. And he missed me there. Because, yeah, basically, he's uh, berserk. What does this do? This is a, a four copper rings have been joined into a tetrahedron. The construct is oddly warm to a touch. When used, the charm will shield you up to 20 turns against up to 15 damage from your charge in 620 turns. Uh, okay. This might be useful right now to use, so let's apply it. See, so yeah, now I'm shielded basically. So that's what the shield basically does, is like it shields you for a little bit, and now we're no longer Discord, Discord or anything, so we're good. Alright, um, this stuff here. I guess we're just going to uh, continue on for now, I guess, is the plan. And I just had, you know, a bad feeling here, but I can't get to that staircase, that upper staircase for later.
Monkey tweaks your monkey. It's monkey on monkey action. And a bastard, I think, uh, managed to steal something. So that's a bit of an issue. Stop stealing my stuff. That's my food that's running away, isn't it? Yeah, that's my food. And there's an eel in here too, apparently. I feed the eel. I need to get my food back for obvious reasons. So that was, you know, an interesting mechanic. Basically, you know, water basically moves your stuff randomly around. And yes, there's a damn doorway to nothingness right there. Oh, I can walk right here. Cool. So I'm not in strand, you know, unable to go anywhere here. We're good. Hit this monkey. Please don't. Ah, it's in the water. I mean, I could go after it, but what's steel? Uh, it's still that broadsword again. And I do want that broadsword, but. Uh, at least I'm hitting his eel. The monkey to feed the eel, good enough for me. There's my broadsword running around in the water over there. That's kind of annoying. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just use this here. Maybe I'll blow myself up. Alright, so this basically made it so that uh, the nearby walls are going to begin shattering. So that means they're just all going to basically fade away into nothingness. I'm just going to wait here a little bit while I wait for that broad sort of end up somewhere. There we go. Uh, I can get to it because it's not going to move around anymore. There's that damn monkey that I fought before, I guess, down here. And this is, you know, going to be kind of backtracking all over the place. I don't, I shouldn't be backtracking like this, but. Boink, we got that at least. But whatever. I feel like backtracking just to sort of, you know, get the rest of the stuff in here. There's a door key. So yeah, basically, when I try to get to this door key last time, I fell through a giant hole right there. Uh, do I dare try and get over to it again? I'm pretty sure, you know, I can get to it. It's just the fact that, uh, do I want to risk, you know, getting killed again? Or falling through a hole? Like that. But... Oh, the monkey plummeted to the ground inspired. So, monkey couldn't survive that type of fall. And that was it for the monkey. Apparently I didn't explore over here. Alright, no path for further exploration. I'm not going to worry about the door key up there. It's not worth my time to try and figure it out until maybe I get like a levitation potion or something. Cool. Protection is recharged. Now, how do I get down from this level? I 
That's not the way down over here. Where is the door out of here? I mean, it's nice that this is popping up nice and bright, but... Uh, it's kind of annoying that I don't see where the other door is to get out of here. I'm hungry. Well, time to eat something. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. So yes, now I'm in a bit of a pickle. I can't figure out how to get down. Gotta pull Duke Nukem now and try and find that passage to the next level. So yeah, basically, um, you can basically search for secret doors in this game. It is one of the things that, you know, arguably people have liked to say is like one of the worst things about roguelikes. I don't know, like Dungeon Crawl, someone who did away with it. Basically, roguelikes aren't fun if you have stuff like, you know, having to search for doors. There's a goblin there. Kill that goblin. I mean, it'd be great if I found, like, say, a uh, monster exiting one of these walls for some reason, but... I assume that the door is somewhere up here. This is actually one of those things I think in Rogue. The best thing they could probably do with like the search mechanics is actually keep the secret doors and make it so that it's automatic. If you run, you know, close enough to like where a secret door is, it'll just automatically say, "Hey, see, you see a secret door." I see no way down. And this is actually where, you know, I'd even prefer, like, just walking down a giant giant pit to get down if uh, one was available. I don't see any pits around. Oh, well, I got nothing else to do, so I might as well just go back up here. Maybe there's an item I can make use of to uh, get down. And that's hoping for a bit, but whatever. Up, oh, there's another hole. See, this is gonna hurt me a lot. Well, this is all, almost almost made it there, but. You're damaged by the fall. Ouch. There we go. I got the door key at least. I would do that. I went right back down into the ground. But whatever, we made it out. So yeah, once you get iron keys, you can use them to open doors. Let's see if there's anything of use in here. I see uh, a, r a ring of transference. Laying a uh, lean attack while wearing this ring will heal your proportion of the damage inflicted. So that's basically, basically like vampirism. Uh, one of empowerment, this sacred magic will permanently improve your mind and body of any monsters it hits. A wise adventurer will use it on allies, making them stronger in combat and able to learn a new talent from a fallen foe. If the bolt is reflected back to you, it will have no effect. So basically, this is something to empower your allies with. So empower allies, basically. St staff of Tunneling. Burst of magic from the staff will pass harmlessly for creatures, but will reduce walls and other inner um, obstructions to rubble. The Staff of Tunneling has a maximum of three charges, and recovers its charges gradually over time. That might be useful. Uh, war Axe. That's Axe. Broadsword. Scale Mail. Alright, um... 
I'm going to take this uh, Staff of Tunneling because I can actually make use of that to get down, perhaps. So yeah, I'm just going to go over here. Pop that monkey. That coal is after me, so we're just going to kill it. Alright, we're down over here now. So here's what I'm going to use the staff of tunneling for. Basically, I'm just going to try tunneling through the walls over here to see if I uh, hit gold or pay dirt or anything. It's basically apply this in this you know sort of direction and there we go I found my way out of over here brown potion and there's the way down so yes that's what you know staffs are good for you know lovely crap like that and now I'm on death four I actually kind of like that. I had to use like you know my wits to sort of get down to the next level. There's a vampire bat and a pink jelly. There's some lava apparently now. A tungsten wand. And there's a staircase down. Splat. All right, I uh, made this guy pop in two. This is really hurting me because this guy. Yeah, basically this pink jelly is, you know, just splitting and splitting and splitting. Finally I killed it. I need to find some blood words or something to heal up. There's a goblin who's wandering now. Splat! Yeah, I just basically went around the corner, waited for him to come along, and then popped him in the face. Okay, equip the J ring. I still have a scroll. I have uh, a couple of potions to use. The moment could be emulation, so I'll hold off on using them. Let's try using this wand now, I guess, because this guy toes really far away of me from me, so if that's invisibility or something bad. Like that. That's invisibility, I think. Hmm. We'll come back in this direction another time, I think. There's a splint mail. Let's use the uh, staff of tunneling this way. Oh, that's a granite wall. I can't tunnel through that. And yes, there is some walls that you can't tunnel through, or you know, disintegrate or stuff. But whatever. And that just popped up, so you know that's what I mean. That's what they should have. It's like automatic pop up stuff like that. I'm kind of glad I just saw that though. So now I know I don't have to necessarily just search around. I can just possibly just see it just by luck. Just gonna wait to see if his toe comes here. Pop him in the face. Yes, I love popping things in the face. I got a scroll of enchanting, that could be useful. Yeah, that uh, vampire bat is flying, by the way. So it actually indicates that it's flying. Well, it's hunting now. Ooh, it's tough. 
Now that Jekyll's behind me. Um, I'm not sure I have anything to fight this guy with. Apply this and hopefully that shield will help a little bit. And it did help a little bit. Now I've got these jackals to kill. Those were not friendly to fight. But at least all that stuff is dead. I'm happy about that at least. Oh, now the monkey sees me. Eh, let's do this, why not? See what happens. And it still sees me. And of course now it's fleeing because it's a monkey. And monkeys aren't stupid by the way, they aren't just gonna go, you know, as soon as they see, see you and like steal from you, they're basically just gonna run off. And one direction is gonna achieve the best results usually. Basically what I'm saying is, it, it stole something and then like it immediately went to like, you know, um, a passage to get away from me, not like, to, is, like the other side of the wall. So it has some brains to it. There's a broadsword now enchanted a little bit. I probably don't need to have both the uh, splint mills there, but I'm, I'll note that I'm actually keeping them because I may decide at some point I may want to have like a second one. If I decide to wear a split mill in the future and like, you know, one gets corroded. Now, can I remember where the bloodworts were on this level? Yeah, I can actually see them right there, so. I see a jack, I see a goblin. Pop him in the face. Pop him in the face. Basically, it's going to heal up here a little bit. Bloodworts basically heal your character. And it's an interesting mechanism for healing yourself if you need to. I like that sort of uh, environmental manipulation there. All those guys are still sleeping apparently. Those jackals. Uh, let's go with tunneling here again. And there's grant walls apparently. In between me and the jackals over there. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to get their attention. So, we're going to throw this at them. That, you know, basically wakes them up because, hey, what, what happened? I'm being attacked. I don't like being attacked. Oh, and note that this guy actually went, you know, they actually have, I guess, um, some sort of uh, oh no it doesn't I guess I think that they might have like some pack mentality so they can get around you can I use this oh hasn't re finished recharging yet so I might be in a bit of trouble here I didn't expect him to jump around me like that uh, I'm very confused don't want that You know, I feel confused. What the heck did I do? Confusion gas. We confuse everyone around us. Jackal's consumed by fire instantly. And I catch fire. Uh, that's not preferable. I'm on fire. Alright, basically here's the problem now. Um, I'm on fire, I'm next to lava. If I'm uh, um, unlucky here, I'm going to basically stumble into lava. I've already used the teleport scroll, so I know that this is in teleport. Basically, I'm going to have to risk trying to walk by lava here. You plunge into lava, which means you die! So basically that's the end of this run. And there you go. Another death. That's probably my worst score ever, but basically there's like, you know, at least the first Brogue episode that's not going to have any audio problems with it. Because, you know, of the audio cutting out. So I hope you enjoyed. At least you'll have uh, three minutes of that. Hope, you know, I'll basically have more next week.